I even asked, you know, chat GPT for bold housing oh, solutions. Oh, you did? Yeah. What I, did it tell you? It, it's, more, it, it's more innovative and creative than any politician <laughs> that I've heard, other than uh, myself. myself. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, yeah, it came up with a, a, a pretty comprehensive list of things that it could be doing, like a kind of like a, a toolkit of things that it could be doing that it that we just aren't. Okay, let some offer me. Um, let's see. Sorry, I have to check my notes yeah. because... Uh, uh, so community land trusts, I really like that one. Uh, universal basic housing, uh, rent control, which we're sort of going to touch on in, in a second here. Empty homes taxes, as we as we have here, mm -hmm. but are like could be tripling them or yeah. what we're doing retroactive giveaways to developers. <laughs> uh, housing co-op co-ops, uh, zoning and land use reform is a big one. Uh, affordable housing vouchers. Uh, uh, you know, building public housing, for sure. example, like, wow, what a, let's what a talk concept. About, let's but, talk about yeah. rent control and specifically vacancy control. I'm a little curious about this one. B basically, if you are renting, you know, there's only a certain amount that they can increase. But if you move out, the new tenants would have to pay a lot more. They can basically pay or they would have to pay whatever you know, the landlord would, would set. Or, or whatever the market yeah. bears, right? Yeah. And that is looking like an average of about 43%. That the, from that, tenant to a new tenant. From a tenant wow. to a new tenant. And um, so what does vacancy control? Vacancy do? control ties the rent to the unit instead of to the renter. So when a new when a renter leaves, the unit kind of stays at the same. Oh rent. okay.